Ah, good morning. It's morning now, actually, when I'm presenting or sharing this talk with you, sharing some thoughts with you. So good morning or good evening, good afternoon, whenever it is um, that you are engaging with, with my talk this week. Um, it's a wonderful privilege to be able to just communicate. I know it's only one way. It's kind of like a sermon, isn't it? A bit of a monologue. But yet, in some way, just to feel that I'm able to to connect with our congregation, our community, in some way during this lockdown time. Week 13, if I'm not mistaken, of, of lockdown. Uh, just so difficult to believe. I've had, a, a, I think, a sort of a, a better week, if I can put it that way. Um, I found it a bit of a topsy-turvy time, this time of lockdown. Sometimes I feel, you know, kind of in, in my groove. At other times I feel a bit out of sorts. And, and so emotionally it's been a bit of, a, of an up and down journey. And, and I suppose it's understandable for all of us with these times being so different. So how are you doing? How, how are you really doing? How goes it with your soul? How are you coping? How are you doing in these very strange times? I hope that in some way you are managing to keep your head, your heart, your emotions above water, um, so to speak. I mean, after all, it, it, it has been and continues to be a trying time. It's a trying time for families, especially for um, the wider families in terms of grandparents, um, perhaps siblings who've left the home, keeping contact as well, or being able to to be in each other's presence. Okay, that's now uh, doable to a certain extent, but we still aren't able to to hug, um, to to just be at ease in each other's company, and for some it's not yet possible in terms of going into traveling into. Um, other parts of the UK, Wales, for example, that we can't get into there. And there, some of our folk who are dying to see family there and be with family there, and, and yet can't be. So we continue to experience that difficulty. The difficulty for, for businesses. And we, we just are hearing of the economic impact of COVID and lockdown as it has affected the UK economy in the month of April and never mind individual people like you and me in our own space some of us who are living on our own and and are encountering and enduring these times in that way and the many difficulties that are experienced as individuals through um, this time. I suppose one thing that is that has emerged for me during this lockdown time and kind of come up on my radar is, is what might, we might say the, the yin and yang of life, that balance between a self-focus and the focus on the other, the balance between loving self and loving those outside of ourselves, others, loving the world, if we want to put it that way. And we know that from a Christian point of view, we are encouraged to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. I read, I think, in one of the Sunday papers last week of the occurrence in this time of the Stockholm effect, where um, the Stockholm effect, just concisely and in my own understanding, the effect of prisoners of war, for example, who in time become so comfortable with the the enemy, those who hold them in imprisonment, that they become secure in that and then scared to venture back into their natural lives, to venture out into the real world. We become comfortable in our imprisonment, so to speak. And, and psychologists are, experience, are expressing the concern that one effect of lockdown is that people will become um, victims of the Stockholm effect. We won't want to venture out again into the broader world. We become comfortable in our caged in experience of lockdown. And so we might fear going back to 
work. We might fear venturing back out into the world. Uh, we might fear the uncertainty of that. We might feel that we don't have the confidence. We might fear being able to, to go back to a life where we are more engaged with the world. And, and so that's a real concern. On the other hand, um, lockdown has, has maybe driven us more into ourselves, of, of enjoying our own time, enjoying our own space. And, and that's not a bad thing in itself. But in some ways, it may encroach on selfishness and, and comfortable for a while. And yet, if we think of the teaching of Jesus, um, I've just finished recently finished a book on the intimacy, exploring the intimates, intimacy of relationships. And, and what is it that, that makes intimate relationships meaningful? And one of the concluding lines of thought of this book is it is in loving the other that we find the fulfillment of love in our human experience. And so though the inward drive of, of, of lockdown has offered something positive and certainly does for a while to, to rebalance our lives in that sense, to find meaning and time with ourselves, too much of it can be a bad thing. Too much loving of self, um, which, which is at the expense of loving our neighbor, can diminish our lives. And so this yin and yang of, 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 um, of life that, that we tussle and, and, and wrestle with as human beings have done forever, this loving of neighbor and loving ourselves and finding the balance of the two, I think is something that, that has kind of come up, comes up onto our radars through this lockdown experience, something that we need to manage and find our way through. As I say, human beings have had to do for time immemorial.